We thank you for your mercies. Hallelujah. Praise God. As the choir march in this morning, are you ready, choir? We're going to sing this song. It's beginning to rain as the choir march in. It's beginning.
you're thirsty and dry, lift your hands to the sky. It's beginning to rain. Hallelujah. 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 As the thirsty person, just bless the Lord. If you are dry, just bless the Lord. If you need the rain, just exalt him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Continue standing, everyone. It's the first Sunday. Hallelujah. In the year 2024, the Lord has been good to us. He has been great to us. He has protected us. He guided us through 2023. And today is 2024. And yes, I am hungry. I am dry. I am thirsty. So I need more of the reign of the Father. But indeed, we have to put ourselves in the place in order to get it. So I'm going to ask those of you that are all the way at the back, please. Just come a little closer. So really use up those seats. So please to come closer for we're expecting more. We know most persons go to church on last Sundays and first Sundays. Is it so, brethren? Yes, so we're expecting more persons. So just be obedient and move up. And also today is also fasting, prayer for the family. So while you're singing, while you're meditating, remember to lift up the families, your family, your neighbor family, the community family, the church family in prayer before God. For certainly we need rain. We need the heavenly rain. We need the anointing. We need the power of God to take us through 2024. God bless you. I'm going to ask Sister Shereen Campbell Brown. She will be coming to do the opening prayer. Continue standing for us. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us go to God in prayer. Our Father and our God, King of kings and Lord of lords, the maker of heaven and earth. Father, you are holy. You are great. You are mighty. You are excellent. You are sweet. You are God all by yourself. And this morning as we come before you, God, your word says, oh God, that all have seen and come short of the glory of God. But your word also said, oh mighty God, that come let us reason together that though our sins be as red as scarlet, you made them, God, as white as snow. So God, we thank you this morning that we have an advocate, God, that we can come to. So this morning as we come before you, God, we repent of our sins, oh God. We ask that you wash us, that you purge us. We ask, oh God, that you search us, oh mighty God. God, because even our very thoughts, God, we have sinned. So we ask that you search our hearts, Almighty God, and reveal unto us secret sin, hidden sin, Almighty God, that we will repent, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we honor you this morning. We praise you. We worship you, God. God, we pray this morning, oh God, that as we come this morning, oh God, we pray that you saturate the very atmosphere. We pray as we come this morning, oh mighty God, that you be in the midst of us. We are almighty God. We pray that as we come into your presence with thanksgiving, God, and into your courts with praise, oh Father, we pray that as we worship, almighty God, that your glory will come down upon us, oh God. God, we pray this morning. Oh you know, God, that oh great God, that as we give up to you, worship Almighty God. Oh great God, let the glory God, let the anointing God, mighty God, give us an encounter, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, as we come before you, Father God, we put Almighty God our service before you, God. We put Almighty God, the man of God who is about to bring the word. We pray that as he bring the word that you will anoint him. We pray, God, that you will give him the tongue of a ready writer this morning, God, and lips like flaming fire. We pray, mighty God, that the hearts of your people, mighty God, will be, oh God, ready, God, to receive whatever word you are in store for us. God, we just give you thanks. We honor you. We praise you this morning. We thank you, God, for waking us up in another day. We thank you for keeping us throughout the week, oh 
oh God. We thank you, God, for bringing us into another week, oh God. The second week in the year. God, we give you thanks, God, because many did not cross or many did not make it. But God, we thank you, almighty God. We thank you for clothing us in our right mind. We thank you, God, for the many incidents that you have kept us from this week. We thank you, God, for the provision, mighty God, that you have made over and over. We thank you, God, for the doors that you have opened this week, God, and the door that you have closed. We thank you, God, that the doors that you are about to open in our lives, almighty God. Father, we just give you thanks. We honor you, mighty God, for what you're about to do among us, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we praise your name. We honor you. We lift up you, O oh God. God, we bless your name this morning. We thank you, God. We just give you thanks. We thank you, God, because it's nothing good that we have done to be here, God, but it's your mercy and your grace. Nothing special about us this morning, God, but God, this morning, we thank you as we look to you, God, as the art and the finish of faith. We thank you, almighty God, that we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers this morning that bring us forth fruit in our season and our leaves shall with it, but whatever we do, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We thank you this morning. As we look to the hills from and come with our help this morning because we know our help coming from you this morning, God. So, God, we thank you, we honor you, we praise you, and we bless your holy. We place everything in your hands, Almighty God. Lord, let your word, let your will be done in this place, oh God. Let the anointing, let the blessing, let the glory of God come down in this place, God. Let your people be a place where their heart can worship and reach out to you, God. That you in turn will reach out to them, Father, in the name of Jesus. As they seek you, know God their wants, their need, almighty oh God. You know God, and God, we just place it in your hands this morning, almighty oh God. Oh God, we thank you, we honor you, and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Well, Brother Stephen Bowen is coming to do the devotional exercise. Just give the Lord thanks for something. He has been good to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. A pleasant good morning. A pleasant good morning to everyone. Indeed, the Lord has been good. He is good. And our lives are spared. And we are here in 2024. So we have all right to give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to stand for the devotional exercise. Reach for your Bible. Turn to Psalms 61. And also reach for your hymnal. And our hymn comes to us from 362. I am thine, O Lord, I have heard thy voice. Again, if you are sitting down, I'm going to ask you to stand. Here begin a portion of God's holy word. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle. Forever I will trust in the convert of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his ears as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. Eight and last we read together. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Here in the portion of God's word, we honor it by saying, Amen. Mm -hmm. 
I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice and did told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me near. cross where thou hast done. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Oh, the pure delight of a singer hour before thy throne I spend. When I kneel in prayer with with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross. Where thou hast died, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. There are depths of love that I cannot know. I cross the narrow sea. There are eyes of joy that I may not reach till I rest in peace with thee. Oh, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross. Where thou as I draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleed. Can we do the fourth standard? Fourth standard. There are depths of love that I cannot know till I cross the narrow sea. There are heights of joy that I may not reach till I rest in peace with thee. Oh, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where Bleed inside. Oh, 
draw me near. Just lift your holy hands and bless the Lord. If you want to be closer to him, just worship him. Just exalt our God. Magnify the King of all kings. Worship the Lord of all lords. He's no more in a manger. He is the exalted God. He is our exalted King. He is the Almighty God. He is the everlasting Father. He is the great Prince of Peace. Do you want to be closer, drawn to Him? Just magnify His name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everyone. You may be seated in your father's house. Thank you, Sister Campbell Brown. Thank you, Brother Bowen. God bless you richly. Now we're going to have Sister Carlette Green. She'll be coming to do the announcement and welcome. And before that, is there anybody that takes children to be dedicated today? Any babies to be dedicated? If so, please to prepare yourself. Okay, Sister Clarlet, you can come. It's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing is flowing my way. It's a season of power and prosperity it's a new season coming to me it's not a new season for you i thought you would be rejoicing it's a new season fresh anointing it's flowing my way it's a season of power and prosperity it's a new season coming to me shall we praise the lord shall we magnify the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah just give the wave offering to the father the son and the blessed holy spirit this morning hallelujah it's indeed a new season. It's a new year. Yes, it is a new year. It's a new chapter, a new start. And if you haven't received that as yet, Happy New Year, everybody. Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor beside you and say, Happy New Year. Good to see you. All right. We want to acknowledge the presence of our host pastor and first lady. We acknowledge your presence, sir, madam. To our councilmen and women, we acknowledge you. Our day's moderator, our sanctuary choir, our praise team, and our ushers on duty, we acknowledge you. We have some very special visitors with us this morning. We have Miss mm. Junie McFarlane from Cornwall Court. She's visiting with Sister Sonia Thomas. Please stand. We have Reverend and Sister Lewis, son and daughter-in-law, Jerian and Carice Lewis. Please stand. We also have visiting with us from Miami, Mr. and Mrs. Williams. Please stand. Bless the Lord. Put your hands together and give them a Glendavon welcome. Bless the Lord. You may be seated. Good to have you. 
with us today. I'm also seeing Sister Reynolds. I haven't seen you for a while. Welcome, Sister Reynolds. Welcome back. The Lord bless you. I'm seeing Sister Shellyan's daughter. I can't remember her name. Alexia, right. Alexia, welcome back. Welcome back. All those who are visiting with us and you didn't hear your name and you're here with us today, just jump to your feet and let us give you a Glendevon welcome. Please stand. Put your hands together for those visiting with us today. Thank you for choosing Glendevon as your place of worship. We are happy to have you and we trust that you will have a wonderful day in the Lord in your father's house. To those who are viewing online, we acknowledge you and we thank you for choosing Glendevon this morning as your place of worship. We ask that you'll just enjoy the rest of the day's proceedings. To all our regular members and friends, we welcome you. We thank you for rolling over into 2024, still coming, still strong, still with us. The Lord bless you and keep you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. These are the day's announcements. This month, the New Testament Church of God denomination is focusing on heal the family, heal the community. We'll be having evangelistic service this evening at 6.30 p.m. All are invited to be out. Bible studies will be on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. National Teens Week is January 8 to 14. National Teens Rally will be on Saturday, January 14th, and it will be at the National Convention Center. Please inform Sister Marie Reed today if you're interested in attending the fare is $3,500. So today is the deadline to finalize with Sister Marie if you'll be attending Teens Rally on Saturday. The month of January is being observed as per month, and we will have, we are having 21 days of fasting and prayer, and you will hear more about this week's schedule when Rev gets the mic. District Unity Fasting will be this Tuesday at the Cornwall Courts New Testament Church. All are invited to be in attendance. I think it should start at 10, right, Rev? 7 p.m.? Oh, 7 p.m. All right, so it's evening District Unity Fasting. So at 7 p.m., and it will be at Cornwall Courts Church. So. We're having regular fasting at 10. All right, so Rev will tell you. So this Tuesday evening is District Unity Fasting at the Cornwall Court Church, and it starts at 7 p.m. So all are invited to come on out. District Family Seminar will be held on January 20, and further details will be provided as we get closer to the time. Per Crusade will be on January 22 to 26 at 7 p.m. nightly. We will close the week with an early morning per meeting at 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Saturday, January 27. For Sunday school, the September to December term has finished, and next week you will hear who the winners are, and also the trophies and awards will be presented next week, Sunday. Cornwall Zone Convention will be held on Wednesday, February 14, at the Westgate Hills Baptist Church at 9.30 a.m. Sister Lewis would like to meet with all the ladies right after service. I know we are used to 
convention being held at Montego Bay Church, but we have outgrown Montego Bay Church. So they have sourced another venue that can hold um, everybody. So that will be at the Westgate Hills Baptist Church. I think it should be the big church at the Buck Road. Mm -hmm. When you're coming down, like you're going lockout back down on a Burger King side around there. So, yes, that road around there, if you have ever drive that side. But I'm not good at directions. So I'll let Sister Lewis Google and tell you where exactly it is. <laughs> Lilliput New Testament Choirs in Praise will be on Sunday, January 21, and it is at 7 p.m., and the Women's Ministry Choir will render the item. So that's Lilliput Choirs in Praise, Sunday, January 21, at 7 p.m., and the Women's Choir will render the item. Prince and Princess and Sister Vera Williams, they have sent New Year's greetings to the church and ask that you continue to remember them in prayer. Sister Norma Brown has mislaid her reading glasses. If you have seen same, just please um, return it to her. All right, and that Sister Norma Brown walking. <laughs> I guess she's looking for it. All right, so happy birthday. All right, so happy belated birthday greetings. Sister Lewis celebrated her birthday on the 5th, and she would, has asked me to tell you thanks for all the birthday wishes, all the songs that were sung to her. She really felt loved and she appreciated every single one of them. So, yes. So for this week, it's a very festive January, you know. And I don't know who have money in a January, but Lord, the birthday them festive. So for this week, we have on Tuesday, we have Sister Jemima Russell, who will celebrate hers on Tuesday. On Wednesday, my daughter, Alia Brown, celebrates her Sweet 16 on Wednesday. And on Thursday, Brother Lesagor Henry celebrates his. And on Friday, Sister Angela McCoy will celebrate hers. Mm -hmm. All right, so you say festive? Yours is Thursday as well, Brother Steve? So Brother Steve is Thursday as well. Friday, Brother Steve, you're sure you know when you're born? <laughs> Jesus. All right, so it's Friday, it's Brother Steve, and not Thursday. Praise the Lord. All right, anybody else? Jerisha is Friday. Okay, anybody else? I can't see a wash a shit. Miss Brown. <laughs> Miss Brown is when? On Friday. Okay, and our visitor is on? The 15th. That's um, next week. Okay. All right, next week. Come back next week and we'll sing for you next week. Yeah, come back next week. All right. The drummers is tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. Matthew is tomorrow. You see the January festive? It's festive bad. All right. So the worship team is going to come and they're going to sing for you. All. I'm going to ask all the birthday celebrants to just stand and they'll sing for you the happy birthday song. Sister Angela, don't sing. They're going to sing for you. Yes. Yes. All the birthday celebrants, please stand. When is your day? I didn't, I didn't get yours. The 15th as well. Come back next week, man. Come back next week. But we'll sing for you today still. Go ahead, worship team. Happy birthday to you. 
This is your day. You know that we love you in a very special way. This is your day, your day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You're so young. Just a number, don't you stop having fun? This is your day, your day. Happy birthday to you. Praise the Lord. Happy birthday when it comes, everybody. And I trust you will have an extraordinary day. I leave with you the quote for this week. This week is your time to trust your intuition. Notice the blessings around you. Do whatever it takes to grow. Document your progress. Shine regardless of what others may say. The Lord bless you. Thank you, Sister Claret Green and Sister Claret Green. You are also welcome. God bless you. Praise God. And I trust everyone is feeling welcome. And if you come in after the welcome, you are also welcome. Now I'm going to ask the Performing Arts Ministry. They will be ministering to us after the baby's dedication. Do we have any babies to be dedicated? All right, please so come forward. So... Our pastor is coming to us now with the baby that is dedication. Them depart, but Jesus saw them and Shepherd, oh, drive them not away. For if they they shall with me in glory suffer the little children to come on to. For I will receive them, I will receive and fold them in my bosom. I'll be a shepherd to those lambs who drive them not away. For if they ask to me, they give, they shall reach me in glory. Suffer the little children to come unto me. Praise the Lord. Shall we lift up our hands and praise the Lord of the body? Hallelujah. Shall we do it one more time? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. This is a special day, you know, in the lives of the, 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 the Church of God in Glendevon, when we are privileged to present the children to the Lord. Amen. These little ones who are here, how many of them? Both of them. And we are very happy for them this morning. But I am reminded of the, the scripture that tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 2. Okay. It is shocking. I'm reminded of the scripture that tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verses 6 and 7. These words, 
parents, these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. The, you may be here at this church for the very first time, but I want to say to you that the dedication of these infants today, right, it doesn't mean that we are imparting salvation to them. It doesn't mean that they are, they are saved. But it's an acknowledgement by you as parents that these children are gifts from God and you want to recommit the babies to God. And such a dedication is biblical because Christ, while he was an infant, he was brought into the sanctuary and presented to the Lord. And Simeon, when he saw him, he said, Now let thy servant depart in peace. I've often said to you that when Jesus grew up and he started his ministry, parents like you would have brought children to him. And at one point, the disciples wanted to turn them away. But Jesus said, Several little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. The family is a divine institution created by our heavenly father. And I want you to see these children as gifts from God. And therefore you have a great responsibility to take the, the best care of them. I want you to train them up in the fear and the and reverence of the almighty God. You have brought them into this world and therefore you have an obligation to take the best care of them. You must work hard to support them and you must do everything that is within your power to make sure that they are kept safe at all times. Don't say you can't bother with them, you better bother with them because it's your responsibility. And I'm very glad too for the godparents who are a part of their lives. And I've often said they too have a responsibility to take care of their godchildren. It is important. Every one of you who is in this church, you have a goddaughter and you have a godson. Tomorrow school reopen. Make sure you pay them some attention. Amen. It is your godfather, almost mean the father, you know, and godmother. So you have a responsibility to do your part and play it well. For as much as these children are presented by you for Christian dedication, it's your duty to provide a godly environment, a godly surrounding for the, for the children. And I want you to to see to him that they understand the things of the Almighty God. Be careful what you do in their presence, in their surrounding. It is important. And I want you as parents and godparents to make every effort that these children are brought up in the fear of God. There is a God. Can I have your attention please? There is a God, and God must be feared. And it is your duty as parents and godparents to teach them the fear of the Almighty God. It is your duty also to let them know that there is indeed a Savior, and it's Jesus Christ, as long as they can understand it, right? To teach them about the Lord Jesus and, you know, him being the Savior. It is your duty, again I say, to make sure that your home, your environment is really good. 
and they be taught in the principles of the Almighty God. Do you members of this church receive these children in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and promise to be fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters to them? Answer, we do. We do. Praise the Lord. And so we are going to present them to the Lord. I, this is Dante. Dante, okay. We will try. We will try. Okay, so I don't okay. Dante. Okay. Okay, uh, the whole thing is going to be try. Okay, what's our name? Catalia. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, could you bow your heads, everybody? Let me just come, brother. Just lay your hand upon her. Just lay. Father, you are great. You are mighty. You are wonderful. There is no other name like your name. And we adore your name. It's an excellent name. And we come, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of these little ones today. God, I'm very happy for the privilege to be presenting them to you for dedication. And so I lay my hand, O oh God, upon them right now. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When your blessings, O oh God, shall be upon them. I pray when these children, Lord, will be divinely protected by you. I pray God you will give them strength, give them, oh God, wisdom, give them understanding, Lord, and let them grow up, Heavenly Father, walking in your righteousness and holiness. I pray, dear God, if there is any sickness in their bodies right now, I cast out every sickness and I send them back, God, from whence they came. In the name of Jesus, and I command them to be healthy this morning. Touch their mind. Touch their spirit, Lord. Deliver them, God, from every danger. And let them grow up, God, in their communities and be proper children. I dedicate them to you now. In Jesus' name, let them be doctors, lawyers, nurses, God, as you have it oh, for them, God, let it be so now in Jesus' name. Bless the parents. Bless the God parents, God. And everyone who will have anything to do with these children, I pray, dear God Almighty, that they will set good examples for them. Into your hands, I commend every one of them now. And I dedicate Dante to you now. And I declare him to be blessed. I declare him in your sight in the name of Jesus Christ. I dedicate your daughter to you now. And I declare her God to be dedicated right now. And no weapon that form against her shall prosper. And she will grow up God and be manly. God, God, God. Provide for her. Provide for her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Provide for this little boy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. In hallelujah. In church this morning. They are dedicated to God. In Jesus' name. Don't go as yet. Only one certificate I have so far you get used of a church. So I take it as my greatest pleasure in presenting to the mother of Dante Jordan Willie their dedication certificate. Put your hands together for her, please. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. Thank you very much, counselors, for your presence. Okay. 
praise God, where they take their seats performing arts. You will be coming now to minister to us. After the performing arts, we'll have the celebration of praise. And also, we're going to ask those that are engaged in collecting the tithes and offering, our ushers to prepare as well after the performing arts. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. It's above your heads, church. Just let's worship the Lord. Let's give him thanks. He has been good to us. It's a new year. It's a new season. And tell me what, fresh anointing. The anointing that we had last year. We need more this year to take us through. And we know that the great God of heaven he is able. He is able, as Joshua said. We are able to go over. And so we are able. When you feel down, when you feel depressed, remember that God is well able to take us through. The Performing Arts Ministry will be now ministering to us.
Hallelujah. Everyone, please stand. Hallelujah. 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 So worship Adonai. Hallelujah. Adonai is the Greek name for God. So worship God, my people. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are holy. You are righteous. You are our God. You are our deliverer. You are our battle axe. You are our sustainer. Adonai, our God. And also in Hebrew it's translated, my Lord. Adonai, my God in, in, in Hebrew and the Greek, my Lord. Is it so, Pastor? I'm getting old, but... You can do your research, but Adonai, my God. So we come to worship him. As Psalm 100 say, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So now our questers are coming. We're going to continue to worship Adonai, my God. Hallelujah. At the end of it, as we said before that, today is also fasting. So at the end of the praise and worship, we all are going to pray. We are going to pray for our families. And we know the families that do not know God, those who are not worshiping God, our neighbors, our friends, our co-workers, we want them to experience Adonai. We want them to experience our God. We want them to experience our Lord. Hallelujah. Praise team. 
Hallelujah. Continue to worship the Lord in the same atmosphere this morning. Hallelujah. His name is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down, this name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. As the psalmist David said, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. I am happy this morning because God has eternally been good to me. Hallelujah. He has brought me through the year 2023 and he has brought me into 2024. And so this morning we come to give him thanks this morning. We come to give him praise for he alone is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody says I anticipate the inevitable supernatural intervention of God. I expect a miracle. Do you expect a miracle this morning? Hallelujah. Do you expect a miracle this morning? Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to God. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for watching over us through our trials. You've made us victorious. We praise your name, most great and glorious. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. 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 I give you thanks, Lord. I have so much, so much to give him thanks for this morning. Hallelujah. Had it not been for his goodness, I would not have been here this morning. Hallelujah. But he sees it fit. Hallelujah. To afford me this opportunity to be in his house this morning. And so I just come to give him worship because that's all I can do but to give the Lord worship this morning. Hallelujah. So many things have happened throughout the course of 2023. Hallelujah. But we have passed God 23. We are in 2024 and we are expecting mega blessings from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Blessed be the name of the Lord, most high. Glory to your name, Jesus. If it had not been for the
Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A lot of us can testify this morning that if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve a God this morning who is holy and righteous. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Hallelujah. I repeat myself, we serve a God this morning who is holy and righteous. And he desires the holiness of his children this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Stand for me, everyone. Everyone, please to stand. Remember, we say we're going to pray after the song. When the weakest saint get on their knees to pray, Satan, tremble. I know that prayer is a hard work. You want to sleep? You yawn? You are weak? You feel sick? Right, Pastor? So tell me what, it doesn't matter who is beside you. It doesn't matter who is listening. When the devil have his church and they said, I want to take out Tom, I want to take out Mary, they don't go and eat and miss. So remember now, as a church, from you can stand, stand. We are going to pray. We have persons that are sick, persons that are discouraged, Persons that are weak, persons that have been in backsliding condition. So we are going to pray. Please don't whisper. Call to Adonai, the God of all gods, the Lord of all lords, the creator of heaven and earth. Church, let us open our mouth. Oh God, help us. Sometime when we come to pray, we whisper. We pray, who oh, going here? Come on. Get rid of that this morning. The first Sunday in the air, we're going to call to God on behalf of everybody that come to your mind. I know pastor will not be disappointed if God wants to end this service in prayer from God's will be done. So lift your hearts to God now, church, and open your mouths, and we are going to pray for our families. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. Everyone will pray. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we exalt you. You are the creator of heaven. You are the creator of earth. And we bow before you because you are worthy. Because you are our Lord. You are our God. You are our Savior. You are our Redeemer. You are our King. And so we come to you on behalf of our families. Lord, those that are wounded, I pray for deliverance. Those that are weak, I pray that they will be strengthened as they hear your word. They will receive your word. Your word will fall on good ground and good soil. It will germinate and they will be healed. Those that are in the prison of sin, those that are blinded by sin, we pray for deliverance. We pray for salvation. We pray that they will be converted, that they will come home to know you as Lord, as God, as deliverer, 
and save Oh God, we pray, God, for the backsliders. We pray, dear God, that they will be restored, that they will come home to know you. Oh God, we come against shame that the devil used on them many times. We pray, dear God, that you will lose them. We pray that they will be loose in the name of Jesus and that they will return to your house to glorify you. They will return to your house to praise you. God, those that are weak, we pray that they will be strengthened. We pray, dear God, that they will get the appetite for your word, that they will read your word, they will meditate on your word. Oh, God, that they will hide your word within their heart, that they will not sin against you, Lord. Oh, God, we pray for deliverance, those that are bound by different chains. Oh, God, we lose them in the name of Jesus. We lose them in the name of Jesus. We lose them in the name of Jesus. That they will come to your house and come to worship you. Oh God, we pray for our communities. Oh God, we come against the violence in the name of Jesus. Those that are using different weapons. Those that are using the gun. Those that are using the knives. We pray for their salvation. We pray, God, that they will receive your word. We pray as your word go forth, they will receive your word. That they will not add their heart. That they will not stiffen their neck. But they will come home to know you as a redeemer, as savior, as God. Thank you, God. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for delivering Thank you for setting free. Thank you for strengthening those that are weak. Thank you for healing those that are sick. Oh God, those that are blinded by sin. Thank you for opening their eyes. Thank you for transforming them. Thank you for making them whole. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that your ears are not heavy. We thank you. That your hands are not short. That you cannot deliver. We thank you that you are a great deliverer. Thank you for delivering your people. Those in the hospital. Those that are in great pain. Oh God, the doctors cannot help them. The doctors give them over. But we thank you that you are the great physician. We thank you that you are the sympathizing Jesus. And so we look to you and their behalf. Thank you for touching them. Thank you for making them all. And that they will in turn return and testify of your goodness. Testify that you have healed them. Testify of your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, we thank you. Those, God, that are planning to murder someone. Those that are planning to take life. I pray for their deliverance. I pray for their salvation. Oh, God, thank you for sending your angels because they are ministering servants and minister to the murderer, God. That no more lives will be taken. That the murder will come home and know you. And tell others about you. Will testify to their colleagues about you, God. Jesus, hear us, Lord. Hear us, God. Hear us, great deliverer. And set your people free. Set your people free, God. Set your people free. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Lord, you say whatever we ask in your name, believing you will grant it unto us. And so we are telling you thanks. Thank you for doing the impossible. Thank you for doing what no other powers can do. 
thank you for reaching down in the arts and touch where no human hands can touch. Oh God, thank you for touching. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for setting free. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your freedom. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Come and lift up your voice and give the Lord thanks. We ask of him and he answers. Give him thanks. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for saving the unsaved. Thank you for saving the unsaved husband. Thank you for saving the unsaved wife, the unsaved brother, the unsaved sister. Thank you for saving God. Thank you, great deliverer. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ushers, come forward. We're going to collect the day tithes and offering. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Questers, who can get ready. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, great deliverer. Thank you, King Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Can come ahead, questers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone, please to stand. Praise God. I'm going to bless the tithes and offering. Lord, we thank you. Great Adonai. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your children that you have blessed with job. Oh God, you have blessed us and we have worked. And we have taken it to your house. We pray that you bless what we have given to you. Sanctify it, Lord. Consecrate it. So as it used, it will be used for your service. It will be used for your glory. Those that are not working, thank you for opening doors, Lord. And thank you when you bless them. They will take to your house and will bless your house. We thank you for all the givers. In your name we tell you thanks. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Many of the blessing that you give unto me, blessing overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you ever thought of me. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you ever thought of me. Many of the blessings that you give unto me. Blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you. For your love to me, I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of many of the blessings, many of the blessings that you give unto me. Blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought.
God of me. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of any of the blessing, or many of the blessings that you give unto me. Blessing overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you oh, for your love to me. You ever thought of thank you lord I wanna thank you lord oh, thank you lord oh, that you ever thought of many of the blessings oh, many of the blessings that you give unto me oh, blessings overflowing like a mighty sea lord i want to thank you oh, for your love thank you lord I wanna thank you lord Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you ever thought of many of the blessings, many of the blessings that you give on to me. Blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Oh, Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you oh, oh, oh. for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Unto God, sing praises. Hallelujah. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Oh, hallelujah. Sing praises. Sing praise. What do you do when there 
coming to you. God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody big up Jesus right now. Big up Emmanuel, God with us. If God is with you, lift up your hands and praise him one more time. Come on, give him praise and glory. As the Bible says, let everything that art breath praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the choir. May they continue singing for the, for the Lord. What a beautiful day. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord. What a beautiful day for the Lord to return. I greet you well. You may be seated, please, today. In the excellent name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Glad to be in your presence today. Put your hands together for the moderator, the praise team, and, about, and just about everyone would have taken part in today's service. May God's blessings be with you. I'm so blessed to see every one of you, the visitors who are here with us, and the welcome was, you know, given already, and I just want to endorse the, the welcome. And I feel very proud today to have my, my, my son here with me and his wife. Amen. Please stand, Jerry, and that's my, that's my firstborn, amen? Put your hands together. The, the second one is not here, but he could be watching online, amen, at the moment. And I give God thanks, you know, for, for them. I thank God for brother and sister Williams, too, amen. They have become a, a part of the family. They have been a part of the family for a very long time. And we are very happy that they could have made it, you know, to church with us today. God bless you. And all our visitors who are here, those of you from home and abroad, I want you to know that I really appreciate you choosing the, the Glendeva New Testament Church of God to be your worship center. And just an hope that, you know, it will continue to be so. Well, I don't know how you feel. But I'm going to tell you, I'm having a feeling. It's a good feeling. It's a lovely feeling. The breeze is blowing. It's not the literal breeze, but a breeze is blowing. And I call it the love breeze. Uh, amen. The love breeze is blowing. The marriage breeze is blowing. And I'm here today to announce to the church that Vincent Corbin, please stand, and Crystal Walker will be. Oh, what a name, Walker will be walking down the halls on April 20th, 2024, right here in the Glendavan. Do you know them? Please, they don't know you. They don't know you. Please come. They don't know. Come on. Come on. They don't know who they are. Lord, come. Come. come Lord. Lord, Lord they, 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 they look good. Come on, man. Cheer them, man. Come on. Cheer them. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Cheer them as they come. Look at the... Mm. Look at the lovebirds. Stand right here. Okay. Right. All right, put your hands together for them. Wonderful. That's beautiful. We want to congratulate them very much. Amen. Praise and just, just just turn around. I want to I want to pray a special blessing for you publicly. Just turn around and face each other. Hold each other's hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come before you this day. I thank you, God, for your divine presence among us today. Thank you, God, for Vincent and Crystal. They have fallen in love, God, and they have decided to to be joined together in holy matrimony, as they are planning for that day. I pray, God, your blessings upon their lives now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, 
all their plans, God. Allow them to be successful. I decree it. I pronounce it to be so now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. We will go back to you. Hallelujah. You will hear more. Just bear with me today and, and worship. As I invite you to turn your Bibles with me to Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Could you please stand as I read this verse of scripture? Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. It reads thus. Call upon unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. This is the word of the Lord. Let's say amen. amen. Father, I love you. Father, I appreciate you. Father, you have given me this word to share with your children. I pray for a special anointing right now. That those who are in church, even those who are listening, those who are watching God, will be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Grant receptive hearts right now. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to speak on the topic today. This is our prayer month. And we are doing 21 days of prayer and fasting. Amen. Today is the seventh day. And my topic today is deliverance through prayer. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, deliverance through prayer. The, the word deliverance refers to the, the act of being set free or rescued from bondage, oppression, Mr. Musician, or captivity. In the spiritual context, it often refers to being freed from demonic influence or possession. And this can involve casting out of evil spirits or overcoming spiritual strongholds through prayer, faith, and seeking God's intervention. Prayer is a form of communication or conversation with the almighty God or the divine one. It can involve expressing gratitude to God. Just to lift up your hands and just say, Lord, we just thank you. We just uh, appreciate you. It may be asking for God's guidance and assistance. And prayer may include seeking forgiveness from God or simply making a request to God. And prayer can be practiced individually or in a group setting. We just add prayer for the family. And that was done in a group. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that prior it takes various forms, such as silent meditation. Because right there as you are sitting, you could be praying in your heart. And the person beside you does not hear a word. Amen, somebody? 
It may be recitation, a scripture, or just to just open up your mouth and just talk to the Almighty God. Let me say to you, brothers and sisters, in times of hardship and distress, we see where many people turn to God, amen, in prayer as a means of seeking guidance and deliverance. When you are going through some, some situation, and even if you are the vilest sinner, you are going to pray to the Almighty God. Let me say that throughout history, various religious and spiritual traditions have emphasized the importance of prayer in achieving spiritual growth, inner peace, and overcome life challenges. Because sometimes we, we just want to grow spiritually. Sometimes we just want some inner peace and we have got to pray. Sometimes we have some challenges in life that we want to overcome and we just pray. In this sermon, we look at the concept of deliverance through prayer. It is a fact, brothers and sisters, that the Lord hears, amen, the prayer of his people. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. And not only does he hear them, but he provides deliverance. He provides comfort. He provides healing. He provides guidance. Amen. At his timing. Let me say this. And through prayer, we can experience great things from God. We can experience deliverance from God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. And let me tell you there is power in prayer. When we pray, things can happen. In Jeremiah 32, just before the verse in question, Jeremiah, he found himself imprisoned by King Zedekiah for his prophecies of doom. You see, as a servant of God, whenever time God tells you to say something, you have got to say it. Some people may not like it, but once it comes from God, you deliver it. But let me say this, despite being confined, Jeremiah received a message from God telling him that his cousin will come to him and offer to purchase that piece of land he had not thought. This seemingly irrational transaction became a symbol of hope for Jeremiah, signifying that one day God's people will return from exile and reclaim their land. Following this message, Jeremiah prayed to God in acknowledgement of his power and sovereignty. Hallelujah. It says, call unto me, hallelujah, and I will answer thee, say the Lord, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Come on, lift up your hands and call upon God today. Lift up your hands and call upon God again. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God responds to Jeremiah's prayer. He said, Jeremiah, I've heard your prayer. You just continue to call upon me. Call to me. Let the church call to me. Call to me, the King of Kings. Call unto me, the Lord of Lords. And I, I, God, I, the 
the Prince of Peace. Come on, push it me now. I will answer thee. And then I will show you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. God will show you things. Which thou knowest not. Clap your hands for Jesus. And this verse emphasizes the importance of seeking God through prayer. And he promised to answer when we call upon him in prayer. And not only that, but he will reveal things beyond our understanding. I believe that during the course of this week, to next week, to this month, God is going to, to reveal some stuff to us. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. He's going to show you some things that will marvel you. And this shows that, that prayer can lead to deliverance through divine intervention. When we pray to the almighty God, God will give deliverance. Amen, church. And the Bible gives us many examples of deliverance through prayer. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace in Daniel chapter 3. These three men did not bow down to a golden statue. And were thrown into a fiery furnace as a, a punishment. Hallelujah. But the Bible tells us in verse 20 of Daniel chapter 3. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army. To bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And cast them into the fire. And these men, hallelujah, these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. But while they were in their furnace, while they were in their situation, I'm talking to some people who are in some situations right now. While they were in the burning fiery furnace, the Bible tells us that they prayed to God and he delivered them, keeping them safe and at home in the midst of the fire. We serve a God who can deliver. We serve a God who when you pray to him in your situation, God will deliver you. Somebody lift up your hands and praise God. You may be in your fire right now. But in your fire, you are going to be praying to the almighty God. And I can guarantee you that God will deliver you right there in the fire. Oh, somebody praise God. And verse 24 says, Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. And he rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the, and the form of the fourth is like the son of the almighty God. I put three men in the fire. But you know what? I see four men walking in the fire. And the fourth one looked like the son of the almighty God. Well, let me tell you something. Then Nebuchadnezzar came to the mouth of the burning fire furnace and spake and called these three men and said, ye servants of the most high God, 
come forth, come hither. And then these three men, they came forth uh, of the midst of the fire. Somebody lift up your hands and praise God. They throw you in the fire, but you never get burned. Because there is a God who is walking beside you. We serve the almighty God who will come into your fire and God will protect you from getting burned. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some people throw you in the fire, but you are not going to get burned. You have just got to pray and my God will come to your deliverance because there is deliverance through prayer. Somebody pray to the almighty God. I don't know what fire you are in today, but whatever the fire you are in, I'm saying to you for this new year, I want you to believe God because God is going to come to your rescue. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to show you a few things. One, it shows the power of prayer. These men remain faithful to their beliefs and trust in God's deliverance. They prayed for his intervention and God answered their prayer in a miraculous way. This should encourage us to turn to prayer in our own difficulties and challenges somebody. When you are going through your challenges, when you are going through your difficulties, you must turn to prayer. When the saints begin to pray, then the Lord shall have his way. And the glory of the Lord shall come down. Someone look at your neighbor and say pray. Look at your neighbor and say pray. Oh, oh pray. Pray. It's prayer time. Hallelujah. 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 Secondly, it demonstrates the faithfulness of God to his people despite being thrown into an impossible situation. God showed up and God delivered them from certain death. We serve a faithful God. Some of you are facing certain death right now. But I want you to know that we serve a God who is very faithful. And although death is pronounced upon you. Because when a man is thrown into a fire seven times hotter. Oh Lord God Almighty. But it is certain death and some situations that you are facing right now. It means certain death. But I want you to know, Glendevan, that we serve a faithful God. A God who will come true for you. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. 2024, God is going to come true for you. There is deliverance through prayer. Somebody pray. Somebody start praying right now. Because, oh Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 And I want you to know what it shows to is the importance of standing firm in our faith in the face of difficulties, in the face of challenges. We are not going to back down. We are not going to decline our standard. Hallelujah. I don't have any money, but I'm not going to sell out. Hallelujah. I don't have any money, but I'm not going to serve any other God. I wish you know what I'm talking about. They say, bow down. They say, me now, bow. 
I am not going to bow. I'm going to maintain my integrity. I'm going to maintain my dignity. I wish I have some pe- somebody who know what I'm talking about. I'm going to maintain my standard. I know if I bow down, I won't go in the fire. Lord God, but I rather go in the fire because my God controls the fire. They, they maintain their integrity. They maintain their dignity. You know how me preach. 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 Some people want to do sell out, but me not sell out. Some people want to do. God Almighty, they want you to sell out, uh, but not sell out, Mela. Lord God, uh, don't sell out. They want you to give up your integrity. I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna sell out for. I'm not going to sell out for no US dollar. I'm not going to sell out for no pound. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna maintain. Uh, you, you, you could have put it like gold. You could have put it like money. I'm going to maintain my integrity. Them say, me not nah serve no false God. Me not nah serve no false God. No false God. No false God. No false God. It may be a easy ride, but I'm not. Uh, some of you sold out last year. Sold out your integrity. You sell out yourself last year. But in the name of Jesus, do we have some Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in church today? Who will stand up? As the song says, stand up, stand up for, for Jesus. You soldiers of the cross, lift high his royal banner. It must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead till every fall. Look at all of us, I'm not I'm not boring. I'm not boring. Touch somebody else and say, I'm not boring. Touch somebody else and say, I am not boring. If I die, I die. If I have to go in the fire, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to maintain my righteousness. I'm going to maintain my dignity. Hallelujah. Let me talk, man. You know, I'm bow. I am not going to bow. Don't bow. If he can't marry you, give him the big finger. Take the big finger. Take the big finger. Walk. Now, bow. You're not going to enter the promised land. No, sir. No, sir. You're not going to bow. Lord God, I'm gonna make Lord God. I'm gonna maintain my dignity. Let me say, boy, we now bow. We now bow. We now lose or no bow. No give in. Uh, no give in. You just uh, remember what are you? You just walk so style. I'm put up. I'm, 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 I'm pop so style. In the name of Jesus. Come on, walk with me, man. Walk, bossy. Hallelujah, because you're in Jesus, man. Walk so style. And them say, show off, yeah, show off. Yes, I show off, me, I show off. Because me now, bow. You now get none. We are going to talk to God. And they prayed to God. Amen, church. And God delivered them out of the burning, fiery furnace. Now, give me, let me give you two more points. I want more. The story of Daniel. I can't finish it today. Amen. Daniel chapter 6, verses 10 through 23. Another story is found in the book of Daniel. Where Daniel was thrown in a den of lions after being accused of blaspheming the king. Then the king, verse 16, Daniel chapter 6, commanded 
that they threw Daniel and cast him in the den of lions. But the king spake and said unto him, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. Glenn Devon. The God that thou servest continually. Lord God, not just once in a while. Uh, continually, day after day. Night after night. Because we have some Sunday dear Christian. But then just no God on Sunday. But Sunday night them bad. Monday night them was around. And Tuesday night, Lord God, then turn the whole place upside down. You don't hear me somebody. But we must serve God continually. Let the church say continually. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Amen, Lord God. Something just come in my spirit. Man. Sometimes on Sunday. Some of you cook Sunday. No, but I mean, no, no. Some of you cook Sunday. You're not cooking tomorrow, you know. Because you call it Sunday, Monday. In, Lord God. In Christianity, we don't have no Sunday, Monday. Every day is a new day. Talk to me, somebody. Every day, oh Lord God, every day is a new day before the Almighty God. Somebody shout in this place. Put them your Sunday Monday. Put them in the Sunday Monday. Church no use. Lord God, somebody don't like it. But church doesn't use Sunday Monday. Because every day with Jesus is sweeter. Is sweeter. Is sweeter than the day before. If you know what I'm talking about, clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. When the king came to the den, he cried with a lamentation voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, Oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lion? Then said Daniel, verse 21, My God sent his angels, shut the lion's mouth, that they have not hurt me, for as much as before him in a was found in me, and also before thee, O king, I have done no hurt. Me not do nobody nothing. Me not trouble nobody nothing. Me not trouble no. But you put me in a lion lion den. All I'm doing is doing the work of God. All I'm doing is all oh God I made you. Somebody lift up your listen, me man. Nobody cramp your spirit. No matter about the cramp your spirit. No matter about the cramp your spirit. Hallelujah. Innocently. Hallelujah. And put you down. The God whom you serve. Let the church say deliverance. In. Say deliverance is you, somebody. Shout to shout. Serve the Almighty God. Serve your God continually. You have some people. No, 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 some people come, they want to near me up. Eh? They're like a lion. They want to near me up. Oh, God. They want to near me up. And the English verse says they want to heat you up. But let me tell you something, man. God. God. God delivers again. Come on, lift up your hands and say, God delivers again. Come on, say, God delivers again, man. When the wicked, he my enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though on host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this will I be confident, man. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. May dwell in the house. God shut the mouths of the lions. Protecting Daniel from harm. God is about to shut some lion mouth. 
those who, those who want to heat you up, some family members, some church members, some community members, they want to heat you up. We serve the God of Daniel. And Daniel God surely will deliver. Come on, lift up your hands and praise him. Daniel God surely he will deliver your husband. He will deliver your wife. He will deliver your children. He will deliver your church. Daniel God do you feel like you are being delivered today? Come on, you feel like deliverance is coming your way today? Lift up your hands and praise him. Lift up your hands and praise him, somebody. Lift up your hands and praise him, somebody. Lift up your hands and worship God, somebody. I'm in my situation, but I'm going to pray. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer. By and by. Oh God. Hallelujah. You know the like fire is burning. Have a little talk. Let me go to, to the story of Saul. Of Paul and Silas in prison. Acts chapter 16 verses 25 and 26. While Paul and Silas were in prison for spreading the gospel, despite being unjustly treated, they chose to remain calm and turn to prayer and worship. Sometimes, Lord Bridget, as a Christian, you can be treated really poorly, you know. Your own Christian people treat you bad. He was not doing anything wrong. He was preaching the gospel. But he was cast into prison. But he remained calm. Look at your neighbor and say, when you're in a prison, remain calm. Come on, say, remain calm. You don't have to fight nobody, you know. You don't have to quarrel with anybody. Leave the matter. Say, leave the matter to God. But the Bible says... At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard. They prayed, brothers and sisters. They sang him to the almighty God. They trusted God and the prisoners heard. Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners, they were listening to them. Let me tell you, somebody is listening to you. Somebody is listening to you. I don't know why you stop singing in the morning. I don't know why you stop singing in the morning. I don't know why you stop singing, Sister Malahu, when you're raking up the yard. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why the church is not singing. Somebody is listening to you. Amazing. Somebody is listening to you. I won't come and sing with my church. Somebody listen to you. In your prison, in your situation. Remain calm. Just pray and sing. Sing with me. Touching Jesus. In your prison, you're in prison right now. In your prison, 
Sing with me. Can I touch you? They say there is only, there is only, there is hallelujah. 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 To touch him. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. At midnight. At midnight. Let's sing praises to God. Some of you are in your midnight right now. You're in your midnight situation right now. Hallelujah! And the Bible says, suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, let me try say immediately, all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. Suddenly, immediately, there is a suddenly that must happen in your life. There is an immediately that must take place in your life. It can be no other day but today. Today is your immediately. Today is your suddenly. Suddenly, there was a earthquake. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't. And listen to me very carefully. I don't see any Bible scholar comments on it. I don't see them. I don't see it yet. But I'm going to put something to you. I don't know the earthquake, how big it was. Geographically, I don't know how wide that earthquake in Acts chapter 16 was. The Bible does not speak on it. And I've never seen any comment on it. Because the Bible is silent. You know, in Jamaica, the epicenter may be in Portland, but you feel it in Westmoreland. And one of a time, an earthquake would strike Jamaica. It's not just one section feels it. But Sister Maylard, it seems as if this earthquake, and I'm just giving my opinion right now because it's not in the Bible. It seems as if the earthquake centered around the prison. centered around the prison. I don't hear anybody talk about it elsewhere in the Bible. Because you know why? That's the God we serve. Paul was in prison. God had to get him out. God, it shows almighty God. God doesn't have to shake the world, the whole world to save you. Right in your situation, right where you are, God can come to your rescue, shake you and the person who's beside you does not know have a clue what is happening. Oh, come on, give God the glory somebody. Come on, give God the glory somebody. 
Come on, give God the glory, somebody. Give God a praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody, God is going to shake some stuff. God is going to make some cut. He's going to do some things this year. Hallelujah. You wonder how comes I'm so close to you. Let me. Let me. I'm going to close. I'm going to close at this. But let me tell you something. Watch this. The earthquake was a powerful earthquake. Because it was so powerful, the doors open. Hello, somebody. The doors were open. It was so powerful the chains were broken without keys. You don't hear me. The chains were broken without keys. It was so powerful that it licked down some prisoners. You hear me, somebody? Not the oh Lord God Almighty. Amen, somebody. That's how powerful it was. But watch this. Paul and Silas they were chained, chained, chained. And the, the earthquake broke the chain, but didn't break their arms. The, 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 the earthquake broke the bondage that held them, but not one bone in their body was broken. What a God, Glendavon. Come on, one of God, I, I wish I have some people who can, oh Lord, God, I feel like I want to run. I feel like I want to run. I feel, oh Jesus, come on, stand on your feet and praise God. Stand on your feet and worship God. Stand on your feet. Uh, we serve a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before us. Uh, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Angels bow before the Almighty God. Somebody praise God in the house. Somebody clap your hands in the house. Something good is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm coming on home now. Angels bow before him. Heaven and hurt adore him. What a mighty God. Somebody's about to be loose right now. Somebody's about to be loose from your chains right now. Hallelujah. God will come through for you. When you pray to the Almighty God, God will come through for you. Oh, the serve a reminder. Oh, that when we face challenges or difficulties, we can trust God's power and seek His divine intervention. You know, if you go and know how be a man. We rebuke that in Jesus' name. We cover yourself with the anointing. Your blood coverage. Let the church say blood coverage. Let the church say blood coverage. Man, I give you a problem. Pray to God. Woman, given problem. Pray to God. Sickness in the body. Pray to God. Help you, hear me, somebody. Lift up your hands and praise God. I'm not going to lose my integrity. It's deliverance time. It's victory time. It's healing time. Somebody clap your hands and praise God. Something is happening in this place. My God, deliverance through prayer. When the saints pray to God Almighty, God will come true for you. Come, let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him, oh, somebody find that song. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Hey, tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. When you feel a little prayer will turn in, then you know. Somebody find it. Come, let us have a little, little talk, talk with, with Jesus. Please tell him us tell all, him all right. about our troubles. Read him. He will hear, hear our, our faintest, faintest cry. cry. And he will answer by and by. Oh, Feel a little prayer is turning. Oh, Feel a little prayer is turning. Yes, sir. Have a little. 
I talk with Jesus, makes it right. Come on, sing. No, let them have a little talk with Jesus. Let us hey. tell him all about your trouble. Hey. 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 Have a little talk with Jesus. Let it right. Oh, have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about your trouble. He will hear our prayers and he will answer by God. When you feel a little fire return, you will go a little fire. Come on, church of God. Come on, sing like the Lord. I was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And if I live a life of heaven, fill my soul. Just a little talk. Baby. Oh, I may have the. Oh, my eyes been filled with tears. Yes, I'm, I'm just a little talk with Jesus. Oh, oh. Come oh. let us have, have a little, little talk with Jesus. Come oh. let us tell, tell him all about your trouble. Oh. He will hear us. Just a little talk with Jesus, Jesus. makes it right. Come on, somebody worship him. Oh, let us have a little talk with Jesus. Oh, let us tell him all about your trouble. Oh, he will hear yeah, your faithless cry. He will answer oh, by and by. Come on, church. Let us feel a little prayer wheel turning. Oh, the Lord will let the fire be burning. Yes, sir. Have a little talk with Jesus. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Have a little talk with Jesus. Yes, yes. Have a little talk with Jesus. Jesus. Come on, make it 
right on the mind. Have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about your trouble. He will hear you. Let us cry. Hallelujah. And pray forever. God bless you. Let us feel a little fire will turn. God bless you. Lord, a little fire is burning. Yes, sir. Have a little talk with Jesus. Let's it right. Come on, sing it. Have a little talk with Jesus. Let us. Tell him all about her trouble And he will hear her Let us cry And serve our own God No one in the fire is turning No one in the fire is burning You can have a little talk with Jesus Let it Somebody praise God in your house. Come on, church. Come on, church. Some, some prison doors are being opened right now. Come out of your seat. Come out of your seat. Come out of your seat. You stay. You can't move. You can't move. Hey, oh. Everybody else, come. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us stay. Tell him all about your trouble. Come on. Come out of your seat. Hey, let us just call us. Come on, let the fire is turning. 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 Have 
going to talk with Jesus. Oh, let us tell him all about your trouble. Oh, he will hear your faith and his cry. And he will answer by his power. Church of God. He's a little prior to turning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a little fire is burning. You can have a little talk with Jesus. Oh, come on, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and praise God, son. Lift up your hands and praise Him. As you sing, as you worship God. About your troubles, we will hear your faintest cry. He will answer by it. He'll let the prior wheel turn it. No one in the fire is burning. You can have a little talk with Jesus, face it right. One more time. Have a little talk with Jesus. Let us stand. Tell him all about your troubles. Hallelujah. Hear your faith as cry. Yes, sir. And say by and by. Feel a little prior wheel turning. Yes, Lord. No a little fire is burning. You will have a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. Somebody worship the Lord. Yes! 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 Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing. Receive the glory of God. Receive the manifestation of God over your life right now. Receive salvation. Receive victory. In the name of Jesus. Come on, shout, shout, shout. Shout, shout. Shout, shout. They sang praises to God. And suddenly, All the, all the unsaved, you are here, just raise your hand. You are unsaved, just raise your hand. You are not saved, just raise your hand in this building. You are not a Christian, just raise your hand. Could you come? I want to pray with you. Could you come? We want to pray. Give, come. Carry your baby with you. Come on, unsaved. If you are not saved, if you are not saved, come, I want to pray with you. Every unsaved in this building, come right now. Come, I know there are more. Come, come right now, everybody. You are not saved, we want to pray with you. Let somebody hold that baby for you. They're coming. You are not saved. Come, we pray with you. Yes, come, we pray with you. Prayer changes things. Come, they're coming. Where is it? God bless you. God bless you. They're coming. Come on, they're coming. They're coming. God bless you. They're coming. They're coming. Is there somebody else? Come, young and whole, everybody. You're not safe. Come on, I want to pray with you right now. Where, where, where my, 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 my counselors, my officers who are in church, come right now. Oh, officers and prayer group and altar workers, please come. Officers. Is there somebody else coming? Look if you're sitting beside somebody who's not saved. Lead that person to the, to the altar right now. They are not saved. Yes. God can deliver you out of your prison, out of your situation, out of your nothingness. One is coming. Come right up, my young lady. Come. She's coming. We pray for her. You're not saved. Please come. You're not a Christian. Let the Christian stand. Uh, let, no, no, let, no, none should stand behind you, brother. Miller, come forward, come forward. Is there somebody? Somebody else is coming. You're not saved. What about that young man? Yes, in over my right there. Yes. We're not forcing you to do anything. 
Come, let us pray with you. We can't close the service yet. Somebody else is coming. Come as you are. They are coming, they are coming. Counselors, stand behind them. Thank you, Jesus. They are coming, they are coming, they are coming. Peace. Peace. It's your day today. It is deliverance. Deliverance to prayer. Prayer can set you free. Prayer can break every chain in your life and give it a victory again and again. Yes. Those of you at the altar, lay your hand upon somebody. Touch a person. A young lady, a little child. Counselors, you, you come for prayer, sir? You come for prayer? Come over, yes, come over. Put, out, put him before you. Yes, come right up. Come right up. Come right here. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. There you are. Hallelujah. It's prayer time. Come, brother Mela, I can lay your hand upon this man. And pray God's power over his life. Yes, Lord. Pray for his strength, healing, salvation, everything that he needs. Come on, let's pray now. Close your eyes, everybody. Altar workers, pray. Counselors, pray. Pray for deliverance that some prison doors will be open. Some chains will be broken now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's prayer time. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for your word, God. Deliverance through prayer. Yes, God, you, you deliver when we pray. And so today, as we have seen God, in the lives of the three Hebrew boys, God, how oh, they maintain their integrity. They maintain their dignity in spite of the circumstances that they found themselves into. And you deliver them. We see, oh God, Daniel in the lion's den. You shut the lion's mouth, God, that no harm came to him. God, pardon and Silas in jail were rescued by you. Oh, great and wonderful God is your name. You are a chain breaker today. Break every chain, God, that binds them right now and set them free. In the name of Jesus, I command the chains to be loose right now. In Jesus' name. And those who are watching via the social media, that young lady, that young man, God, who is struggling right now. That young man, God, who is in the lion's den right now. I pray for deliverance, God. I pray we will shut the lion's mouth and set him free. In Jesus' name. That young girl, that young lady, God, struggling, God. All demonic forces from hell. I say to you, rise up. Rise up. In the name of Jesus and claim your deliverance. Pray for there is deliverance through prayer. There is no need to seek another physician. There is no need to seek anybody out of God's will. Pray to God. Your deliverance is coming right now. Every one of you listening to me Every one of you watching me right now, whatever situations, situation you are in right now, I lose you. I set you free. Pray. 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 
Lay your hand upon your husband. Wherever you are right now. Call your family together. Right now. Read the word of prayer. Because God is about to deliver you. In Jesus name. Clap your hands for Jesus somebody. I heard a, I heard a statement more in 24. A spiritual breakthrough I want to happen to you. I want something extra. I want something more than what I had in 2023. I want something more. I want to change my life. You're in a situation you think you can't come out. Death is pronounced upon you and destruction and doom. But just hold my hand, you. Yes, you. Just come and hold my hand. Yes. It's an indication that God is taking you out of it. Yeah, Lord. That you're coming out of it. You hear? You're coming out of it this year. In Jesus' name, I decree it over your life. In Jesus' name. I can't save you. I can't save any one of you. But God can. He said, believe on the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. It is faith in God. Prayer works. Prayer will deliver you if you pray to God Almighty. Paul and Silas prayed. The jailers surrendered their lives to God. I didn't go in that part. Amen. They got baptized and they followed the Lord. Let me say to you today is there someone, this is the first Sunday in the year 2024. Is there someone who is determined today? I've heard the word, I've accepted the word, and I want to change my life. Every unsaved, you might have come to the altar. It's an unsafe. But you want to start serving God right now. Just raise your hand. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What about you, young men? Would you like to serve God? What about you, young lady? Would you like to serve God today? I can't force you. And I'm not, I'm just asking you. If you're not ready, you're not ready. But I would to God that you'd be ready. Apart from you, let me see those of you who are ready to serve God. Just raise your hand right now. I'm ready. Don't look on the don't look on what you're facing right now. You see, if they had looked at what they were going through, they would never continue serving the Lord. But they look to God. Is it what about you, sir? You indicate? Come on, lift your hands and praise God for him. Shake my hand. God bless you. What about you? I, is it a yes or a no? No. What about you? Yes, I. What about you? You ready to serve God? Raise your hand. Let me see. <laughs> praise God. What about you? Nice lady. I'm not forcing you. It's either a yes or a no. No. What about you, young man? Okay. Nobody else? What about you, Browning? You're not, no. Oh, hallelujah. Come, we have one, the two, the three, uh, three, or did, four. Did you put up your hand to right? Okay, look at me. You put up your hands, right? Oh, okay. Just three? Okay. Okay. Praise the Lord. Come, come closer. The three of you come closer. Come closer. Come closer, Daddy. Those of you, you can go back to your seat. Just stay right where you are. Just stay. Yes. These three persons, okay. It's okay. Uh, everything come close. Everything is going to be all right. Okay. But uh, let us pray one more prayer for them. Father, I thank you for the decision that they have made to follow you. I pray your blessings upon their lives right now. I pray your strength. I pray your guidance over them, God. Thank you, God, for the plan of salvation that you have reached down to them with. And as they have accepted you, Lord, ready to walk in your righteousness, and your holiness continue to protect them and to lead them 
in Jesus' name. Amen. I want your sister, sister me too, you, you have a book. Hallelujah. Just sit right in that front. Yeah, right. Just sit there. They're going to take your names. And, and please give, give it that paper to me. Hallelujah. Says no. She wants you. Okay. All right. Can a mother please come? Come, sister. Come, sister. Put you right here. Just put your hand around. Yes, put your hands around here. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. The daughter, mother in law. Okay, having some, some problems. Kick the problems. Don't go yet, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you now. Here is your daughter standing in place, God, of one of her relatives. I lay my hand upon her, God. That kidney problem right now, I rebuke it, I cast it out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release your healing virtue over her right now. And I claim deliverance, God, on her behalf right now. In Jesus' name, woman, wherever you are, I command the kidney stone to be rolled away now. In Jesus' name. And this olive oil, God, that she has, I pray your blessings upon it now. Sanctify it, Lord, as she drinks it, as she anoints, oh God, her body, allow her to receive healing in Jesus' name. And every olive oil, God, I wave before you right now. Bring deliverance, bring healing. Bless it and sanctify it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We are about to pronounce a benediction before we do. Tuesday will be district into fasting. So no fasting will be here Tuesday. We prepare ourselves to go to Cornwall Court. We begin 7 p.m. I think the fasting over there begin, you know, we, we normally start from 2 p.m. up until that, that is over. But we still have our regular fasting. Amen. On Tuesday. Amen. We fast tomorrow. The secretary will put it in the group. And we are believing God. Amen, church? We are believing God. And I remind the, the combined choir that you, you are asked to sing at Lucy 10 Crusade. Beginning, I think it is tonight. But our night to sing is Sunday night. And so we want to go in a good group to sing praises unto God. Amen, church. Bible studies is here. We know, as I close, we know, I have one more thing to do. We know that, you know, the Wednesday night services are challenging, but we are going to mix it up. So we are going to be in house Wednesday night, and then we determine, you know, via Zoom sometimes. Amen? You'll get the link. God bless you. The, the next thing, before I pronounce the benediction, you remember I asked last Sunday for a special offering for one of our brothers in this church. It has to do with MRI. A lot of thousands of dollars. And so some gave last week and some promised to, to, to come this week. I'm going to stand. I'm going to bless the offering as you come. It's for a worthy cause. It's not for church business. Yes, it is for church business. But it's the help and needy members of the church. Bow your heads, Father. I bless this offering that your sons and daughters are about to give now. In Jesus' name. And for Jesus' sake. Please come. And when you come, don't, don't, don't go until I pronounce the, the benediction. So just come. Everybody, if it's even a hundred dollars. Oh, you want to say, okay. After Sister Lewis wants to see the ladies for two minutes, please. Please come make a sacrifice. You will never regret it. As you give, the Lord will give back to you. 
And I pledge my commitment. Once there is a brother or sister in need, take change it out, counselor. Yes, change it out, counselor. Change it out. Take it out. God will give back to you. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Is it good? Children, take up the children. Yes. Yes, God, God bless you, mother. God bless you. stand for the benediction. And ladies, Sister Lois would like to see you. It's not long. Amen. Praise God. You pronounce where you said? You pronounce where you Okay. Please stand for the benediction. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make